Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Give the word honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of James Khan, but in honor great millstone for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I bring forth the edified under shall want to the elect and the tabernacle of David. I am a brother Zaria coming to this herb talk lesson deal with constipation. Now we know when we went through this already, so let's go and give the short brief description to and get the remedies direct because we would like for you all to know what also cause constipation so you'll prevent that by your diet and what you would intake right let's go into it constipation it's an a constipation is an accumulation of shit in the colon when a person is unable to empty the bowels it is constipation there is a sensation of incomplete emptying the bowel um, emptying the bowels even after straining normally when we eat food it directly goes to the stomach and the stomach it has digestive juices that helps in digestion after this the partial digested foods goes to the large intestines sometimes the food goes very slow in the intestines this gives rise to constipation it says it's it usually so it you it's usually associated with hardened feces during constipation stools will usually harden they are small in size they are dry and, and is difficult to eliminate it may cause anal bleeding also so causes of constipation which is one milk two stress colophics diarrhea uh, sorry diabetes poor diet poor diet poor diet poor diet poor diet poor diet i have to stress on that have to let's continue medication dehydration 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 and water is not the that's the main source of hydration water is uh, i think it's two or five percent hydration I, think I, I could be wrong no it's not five the water we drink today in the tap water would be five percent hydration never drinking that water taking any hydrated you're not play that's the yeah, you're actually putting more toxins than, 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 than hydrate in your body. You would want to get coconut water. You want to get um, cactus leaf and make thick water, okra water. Those are the things you would like to get. You would like and love to get, to be exact, for hydration. Okay? Fruits hyd is very good for hydration. Cucumbers, amazing for hydration, to be exact. Let's continue. Uh, let's continue. It says. Um, liver problems, low fiber diet, low fiber diet, eating disorder, abuse of laxative, you hear that? Abuse of what? Laxative, with hyperactive, hypo, hypoactive thyroids, which just requires a simple thing as um, iodine to correct the, situ the issue. Let's continue. What you can, what you can get from bladder rack, kelp. And even using Damien and blood to fix the situation, right? To cause, to, to rebalance your hormones, to be exact. It says magnesium deficiency, intestinal parasites, intestinal parasites. One more time, because we talk about this a lot. Intestinal parasites. Can't get around it. Hence why I tell you at all times, the majority of the remedies start off with a parasite detox. Alright, let's continue. Once you can hear that, we're good to go. Neurological disorder, poor digestive system, not enough fiber in diet. Do we just... Okay. Lack of intestinal juice. Problem with the colon rectum. Problem with the intestinal function. If not treated properly, constipation may cause cancer, colon cancer. Your best bet, which i glad to bring this out right here, right now, is psyllium seed husk. Psyllium husks is very good, very, very good to remove a thing again. Very, very good to correct and treat constipation directly. So the remedy that I've given here on the list would usually be a good one. Now let's go through them. Right? Nice. Right, let's continue let's, let's reading. It says, um, eat fiber foods which will help to soften the stool and prevent constipation. Never, rep never repress or hold back bowel. It may result in permanent constipation. See that? 
See that? You don't want that. You don't want to go through that. That will actually cause problems for you. Right? It says, constipation gen in general. Alright, I want to go I want to go down for the single herb because you're trying to get the, to the main point. Now, with that being said, I'm glad to bring up aloes. They say one cup of aloe vera juice on an empty stomach. Yes, I agree with that. However, it's a combination involving aloe vera that corrects, completely corrects, completely corrects the, co the colon, preventing constipation at all times. You get um, aloe vera the gel and you add coconut water to it. You blend and you make the juice. That by itself would fix the situation. You could also add to that ratchet water and okra slime together with the coconut water and add some pineapples. You blend it together and this, drinking this on a daily basis, drink it for one day, straight, fast. Let that be your source of food. And watch how your stomach is going to, is going to begin to move again. Your intestines is going to be able to rotate and move again and churn to push out the waste. And after your, your bowels is empty, try the next day and watch on how you would see that your bodily functions will go back into its fruition where you will be shitting as usual. Yes, are you heard me, shitting as usual. We have a next remedy that involves teas or brews. Cascara Sagrada, Slippery Embark, psyllium husk and um, not, um, that should be it next combination of three that is it you, you get equal parts quarter teaspoons each you add it to a cup of you add it to sorry to um you add it to so like, you mix it together you boil some water hot you throw it in a cup metal cup you add the ingredients in a metal cup you stir it until it be and you until you instead of to dissolve in the water because it's powder you're using and then you cover it down when it, when it cools down it's going to get it's going to get thick and gooey and it's not going to have a taste because the psyllium husk and the slippery m cuts the taste so all you're going to do is consume that try to consume half if you need to and watch how your bowels is going to move you would no longer have issues with your constipation because it's going to cut, it's going to coat the stomach lining as well as the intestinal lining, preventing damage from hard foods. So soft and hard is going to come out and it's not going to hurt. You'll find it surprising that it comes out faster and easier than you would expect it to. And trust me, I would know because I've done it before. Hence why I don't have to worry about these things again. Plain as day. There's two combination right there. Let me get on next. Let me get on next one that you can get in the box. Constipation. Right? Let's type in that one time. I'll take my gate here one time. Let's see. No, constipation. So like. Constipation. I guess I don't have constipation here. Let's go into wow, it brings me all the way down. Let's go back into the digestive system. It's right here. Why did I why did I do I knew it was right here? Let's continue. We have activated charcoal, aloe vera, which we have, black walnut, which is very good because it kills parasites and, and actually release bowel movement. Right? Burning bush, never heard of it. Cabbage actually works good because I remember. Let me give you a next remedy you could do. Fast for one day for no food, no water, and at night you eat a not a big bowl, a decent sized bowl of cabbage with some onions and some cut up onions and garlic. Just that at night once, and before this at about seven o'clock in the night. Wait until it's nine o'clock. I bet you, in one hour of that, that you are going to shit yourself. 
you would have to run to the toilet and if you don't run you would end up have to clean yourself up cabbage does that by itself after fasting we have cascara sugar which i mentioned so that's actually very good club muscle good dandelion is very amazing for your gut as well as duck fennel fever few lemon balm marshmallow moringa mugwort red 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 elderberry sheep sorrel and stone root these are very good for your what it comes for constipation you see how much remedies i give so far and i give a whole list of herbs you could use as well this is something i've i've done multiple times look right now i feel to go and use the washroom every time if i eat a hour to an hour and a half after depending on what i eat my uh, at least two hours even my body's already ready to hit the washroom before that's not how it works i would eat when i was on a healthy state i would eat and i'm telling you three days i'm not ready to flick and use the washroom that was a bad flicking stomach that was a bad intestine i be that was a bad digestive system i was in ver in in in, in um on the verge of probably getting a bad disease that will be hard to overcome but look the Yahweh Shimosha brought me through it and teach me what I need to know so you could be you could be taught and you could be edified and that you wouldn't have to go through the same situation this is why the scriptures say what Yahweh had created honor Yahweh had created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise would not abhor them that scripture also said honor a physician for the hour do you to him for the uses which he may have of him for the most I had created him. Let's continue. Constipation. Let's go into the um, African holistic book. We know what that means, but you know, African holistic book regardless. Constipation right there. Plain as day. Let's get the remedies and let's get the diet. Look at the foods. The food consists of literally leafy greens and fruits. Like I have been saying all the time. All you have to do is change your diet up. Now look at the herbs eh? Black root, buckthorn, cascara sagrada, you see that? Dandelion, you see that? Flaxseed, ginger, licorice, mandrake. I love psyllium husk by all means. Psyllium husk, raspberry, I love rhubarb root. It's actually an intracellular cleansing herb and also removes things like toxins and mucus from the body, giving it a, a better health. Sene, another one. Sene another one, another laxative, very easy to get. You add, you, you get sene pods and you boil it with some Epsom salt and that will carry you to the washroom like it's nothing and last but not least we've seen here, Slippery M. Slippery M back. We just said that. Perfect for your, your, your system. Let me pause. Alright, so like yeah. Um, only brothers call. So right. So you see we have all the ingredients here. It is actually very good to, 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 to. Pay attention to these because watch me this will this will clean you up this is one of the best remedies you could have right here for those who looking the best remedies i gave was the aloes the next one the cascara sagrada one and even this one this you have here is an actual remedy all equal parts this is the best remedy you could possibly get whichever one you choose to eat consider the food supply the foods that you're given here exclude potatoes mind you that keep in mind to exclude potatoes everything else is very good on this list to consume and the herb wise best of choice best of choice plain as day so with that being said my advice is to write it down because it's given for your help. It's given to provide remedy to prolong your life, as scriptures say. Then give place to a physician for your how had created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success. For they shall also pray unto your that they that, that, that he shall prosper that which they, which is us, the physicians, Give for ease and for remedies to prolong life. So, with that being said, I hope this information was clear and any fine message, Shalom, Yasharala, Kal, Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakwadash. 
get that bell on our city apostles and prophets and others of James Campbell and Oscar Minister for the before the hundred percent truth that I've been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect and tabernacle of David. I am a brother Zariak. Saying to you, shalom until the next one. So shalom.